Hey bitches, thanks for coming back to my channel. Um, well, if this is your first time, thank you for coming. If you suggesting, suggesting yourself to this again, I'm not really sure why. So, um, as you can tell by the title of this, um, I'm going to try out a new mask, but, um, not going to lie, it is pretty late at night, I'm a little bit buzzed as well, but that would be a good time to do a video. You can really get to know me some more as well. But, um, so I went to Sephora the other day, and I was just there because there was this Becca, um, highlighter that I saw on Nordstrom, or Nordstrom. Okay. Unfortunately, the Sephora that's by me is like the JCPenney inside of Sephora, which is really nothing wrong with that, but at least the one that's by me, they don't really, like, have very much, so... I didn't know if they are going to have it or not. And the lady was like, no, it's sold out. I was like, that's so weird. She's like, did it show we had some here? I was like, yeah, but I know, you know, like, inventory doesn't update, like, in real time. So, sorry. Told you I'm a little, I'm a little buzzed right now. Um, so I was like, you know, it's totally fine if you don't have it. And she's like, what's the color? And I told her, like, the name of it because I had my phone. And she's like, oh, my God, I have it. I was like, yes. So, so excited. So, first of all. Hold on. So I have like quite a few Becca highlighters and I just saw this one online. I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. And I was so excited to get it. So I was like, yes. And what's really awesome is that it was on sale. It was like half off. And I was like, yes. Like I never get deals like this. So I was like so friggin' pumped. Then this happened. I know you're probably expecting to be like shattered or broken. No. Wait, wait one. What is this? Look how small it is compared to my head. Like, I'm gonna use this one time <laughs> and then all of it's gonna be gone. I was like, what the hell? Uh, I didn't realize that, I mean, who really looks at the weight of stuff like online and be like, oh, I wonder if it's the same size. You just expect it to be the same size. Okay, so hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but I'm listening to Kesha tonight. Love Kesha and I really love her new album. But anyway. This is the one I got during holiday season, and it's um, the Champagne Pop with, like, a blush. It's super pretty. Let's see. Yeah, so it goes. It's, like, one of my favorite ones to use. But look at the difference. Like, what is that? It can fit right in the middle, and you wouldn't even notice it. Look. But I was like, you know what? For $70 pretty cool plus it's really pretty oh let me show it probably you guys probably want to see it now um let's see really i can't open it now look how pretty that color is though it's like a really pretty like mauve tone i think it's super gorgeous i cannot wait to put this bad boy on but really excited okay so the mask i'm so excited for. So for one, it's by Dr. Jart, and I love Dr. Jart. But look at this. Yes, doesn't that look like a creepy... Come on now, bitch. Doesn't it look like a creepy baby? But look at that. It's really cool. So it's called the Shake and Shots, but it's a rubber brightening mask. Look, first I thought, I was like, oh my god, how cute, like, what is this? The, but look at this picture here. Like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, I have to do, like, I have to get this mask. And I have to do it on camera. Like, obviously it's gonna be a fresh impression, so never used it before. Um, so I went on to Sephora to find out what, I'm gonna pause it, because I'm gonna read now. Um, I looked online to find out, like, what it was all about. I've never heard it before. And Rich Luck. So, like, I don't really watch, like, drama channels. It's just not really, like, my thing. Um, but Rich Lux cracks me the fuck up. Like, he's hilarious. I just go there because, like, he's really, like, he's just shady as fuck. Um, you know, but that's just gay culture. We're shady as fuck, you know, so. Um, but he's, like, hilarious, you know, and he's really not, like, 
really like speak like mean spirited or like negative i just love him because he'd be saying the craziest shit and i'm like yes boo get it love him but um so anyway he did a mask with his friend he did the sk2 mask and i was like oh my god like that's so like random well to me i found it was random because i was like oh my god he's like the only one um that I watch and he happened to do that. I was like, oh my God, that's what I'm actually gonna record today because I knew I wanted to record it today because I'm off tomorrow. And he was like, damn, you're old. Yes, I need to like plan this out because I can't be doing shit because I gotta go to work too. But so Dr. Chart has like a couple of these masks and I picked this one because it's a brightening one and I feel like anybody can use brightening, but um, it says that it's a fun, do it yourself rubbery rubbery molding mask that infuses skin with potent actives so hopefully i can read this right now it says a fun diy rubbery molding mask that infuses skin with potent actives to smooth for a healthy dewy looking complexion it's great for those um, who have concerns about dull dullness, uneven texture, dark spots, uneven skin, and blemishes. Um, it's really cool because it has vitamin C, which a lot of products do to help brighten the skin. Oh, so it says Dr. Jart uses the same rubber mask technique found in high-end Korean spas to achieve equivalent high-performance results without the fuss of mixing a traditional molding pack. That's pretty cool. I've actually always wanted to do those where, like, you can get, like, um, I don't know if you guys ever watch, like, I think it's called Skin Wars, and they do, like, the, um, like, different special effects and all that type of stuff, but it's, like, old school way. It's not, like, that CGI bullshit that's nowadays, which it just still looks hella fake, but anyway. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, um, we're gonna definitely try this out and see... First of all, I feel like it's going to be hilarious, especially if I look like this crazy-ass baby on there. Um, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, let's take a look. So, when you open it, it comes with this stuff right here. So, I know that I read a little bit earlier, it comes like a little spatula. And um, we're going to use that to put the mixture on our face. So, it comes in two packets. You have number one, number two. Ooh, I did get that right. Okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna read, and this might take me a little while, because again, I'm not gonna drink on camera. I don't really know if I feel like, be drunk on YouTube. Like, is that a thing? I don't really know. You know it's old people. We just, whatever. Do whatever the hell we want. Who's gonna stop? It's like, you're old. I'm like, don't be mean. I'm your elder. But, whatever. So, I'm going to figure this out real quick. My God's like, telling me all over again, like, what it does. I know. Okay, open and remove the spatula from the lid, which I did. Combine both step one super booster and step two liquid in the cup. Close the lid, cover the hole with your finger, and shake well until fully mixed. First of all, I'm going to insert this picture right now. When it literally told me to close the lid, cover the hole with your finger, I instantly thought of this from Broad City. So I'm going to put that in there for you. Okay, so it said you have to use it within like two minutes of mixing the mixture. Well, so it probably like starts to like infuse together. So I'm going to, let's see, mix this up real quick. And it said to mix real well. So like I have my finger over the hole. That's really creepy. Oh, look at that. It kind of looks like a shake or like a legit shake. Oh, that's cute, I guess. Okay. I have no idea what I did. Oh, it's right here. It's like I don't know what I did with my mirror. It says apply in an even layer. Okay, I gotta hurry up. Ooh. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. It feels really cool to the touch, though. And I love products like that. This is so... This is, like, pretty cool. Like, I'm pretty interested in seeing how, like, this works out. I'm hoping it works out pretty good. I just love that it's, like, a rubber mask and, like, you have to, like, peel it off. Oh, I don't know if I should bring it that close to my hair. Brows, please do not come out. Probably just fucks myself over. 
<laughs> we're about to see. You guys might see me cry on this video. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to let this sit. Let me get my directions again. Avoid the eyes and mouth. Oh, and it's a little bit on my mouth. Whatever. Leave for 15, 20 minutes. Starting from the edges, you'll gently peel the mask off. So, we're going to uh, see what this does. And I'm going to let it set. And I'll be back in a little bit. So, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, it's been about 20 minutes. It feels really weird. It doesn't look like anything happened. Which... I was kind of shocked by Starting from the edges, gently peel off the mask. Remove any excess with damp cloth or pad. Follow with your skincare routine. Oh my god. So, okay, so you know when you're a kid, I don't know if you guys ever did this or not. Well, this was back before we got cell phones and shit. You would get like glue and put it on your hand and kind of go like this with it all over. And you go, and blow on it for a while, then we get like this clear film when you would peel it off. We see that as kids. So like where it looks like it's clear, there's actually like film there. It's just not the rubber thing, but look, I can touch it. And nothing's coming up. Oh. <laughs> it feels so weird. I'm trying not to use the mirror because I want you guys to be able to see oh okay first of all I want to say it's definitely not like that black it's weird look at that looks really disgusting but oh my it feels super weird Oh my gosh. It just feels so weird. This is a pretty cool map. I just, I think the concept of it's super cool and I love it. <laughs> you guys really honestly don't understand how relieved I am. Cause I, hell, I had it on my lip and like my eyebrow and my hair. You guys have no idea how really I am. That is not ripping my hair out right now. Cause I legit was so scared. That'd be kind of cool if it was like flesh tone color and like it was like here where you really can't see it and it would be lo just look like I'm peeling my skin right off. I get like, I know it's on my nose, but, and like up here, I just cannot see all of it. And it's like bothering me. I mean, not like in a bad way, I'm just psycho. It's like one of those things where like, you guys know how teachers write on that whiteboard. I hate it when like they erase and there's like duh, 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 erasing and then they skip a spot and there's still like the writing on the wall but they erase um, everything else. It bothers me. Like it drives me crazy. And I just cannot deal with it. Like I've literally gone up in class and just gone up while they were talking and erased it because I will sit there and just be like it, it drives me crazy. I hate it. But people make fun of me all the time anyway because, like, I don't like odd numbers. Like, whenever we're watching TV or if I'm anywhere where you turn up the volume and it shows you numbers in a car, anything, I'll look. And if it's on, like, 17, 15, I'm like, can you please move to odd number? I don't know what it is. I hate odd numbers. The only time I don't is when it is, I have, like, ice in a cup. I only, 
And this is like regular. When it's like the regular size, like the bigger size ice, I only like like five ice cubes. You know, if it's like, of course, if I'm at Sonic or somewhere, I really have like the Hawaiian shaved ice. Love it. Ice cubes. Okay, so it said if you. Thank you, bitch. It said if you had any like access just to like wipe off with like a towel. So. I just want to make sure I have all of it off. I really love Kesha, especially this new album. It's like the bomb. My favorite song though is, um, oh, what is it called? All right. Um, Hunt You Down. Friggin' love that song. It's so badass. Okay, so it's completely off. It feel like, it, it's not like my skin feels like completely like, ooh, smooth and everything, because it's not like really meant to do that, so I have to brighten it. But I don't know, I really liked it, but my skin feels like, when I touch it, it feels like cool. Like really, like where I had, you know, like here, you can really see like that whiteness, like where the rubber, like where I had a lot of the rubber mask on. Um, my skin feels like ultra cool wherever a bunch of that was on. It feels really nice. Overall, I think it's a really cute concept. I liked it. I mean, it was only $12 for a mask, you know, and, but it was really nice. It really wasn't hard to do it all. Like, seriously, when I shook it, I felt like you could have shook it for, like, 10 seconds and you would have been good to go. It was really nice. Ooh. I liked that. Ooh. I do like masks, though. But that one was, like, really nice. I loved it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I've never seen anybody talk about this before. I don't know if how like i just know when i went on to sephora's website earlier so i can like um really see how to like use the product and stuff i saw that it still said new on their website so i don't really know like how long it's or like how yeah i guess how long it's been out for but i really liked it so if anybody else sees it i would definitely pick it up i think it's worth the 12 dollars. and again it's just something fun to do i really liked it a lot now if only i had one that would suck all this fat off my fucking face that would be mask if any mask people out there do that i mean i know i could diet and exercise but <sighs> ain't nobody got time for that but i really liked it so hopefully you guys liked this video i feel like i started getting sober as the mask went on so that was kind of a bummer but one day i definitely do want to do like a get ready with me where like i'm like lit like that would be kind of cool i feel like but Thank you so much. Oh, it is, um, I don't know. I'm, like, so bummed because I just saw Jeffree Star's video and he was, um, reviewing the new mascara that had, um, cannabis in it. Um, the mascara, and that was super cool. And I was like, oh, man, that's so bomb. And I know that him and Nate were in, um, Alaska, but they flew back to California to celebrate there. Celebrate 420, I know, right? But anyway, I think it's pretty cool, but anyway. Um, oh, Hunt You Down. This is my song right here. But, um, so I'm so bummed. I'm definitely gonna look up for that mascara, so I definitely want to get it. Um, I haven't really looked it up yet to see if it's, like, launched or not, but I do want to get it. I think it's super cool. Um, and it looked like it worked really well on him. I don't know if you guys saw the video or not. I would definitely check it out. But, um, yeah. I hope you liked this video. Share it. Comment. Like it if you want. You don't fucking have to. No one's forcing you. No one's even forcing you to watch this video if you don't want to. But, again, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you bitches had a great time. And I'll see you whenever the hell I see you. Bye, bitches. <laughs> Alright.